Data Video How To Tutorials. In this tutorial, you'll learn how to stream using your Data Video NVS25 to Facebook Live. To get started, you will need your Data Video NVS25 connected to an internet connection via an Ethernet cable, a laptop connected through Ethernet or Wi Fi on the same network, a video source, and a Facebook account that has admin privileges for the page that will broadcast the stream. When you have everything ready, turn on your Data Video NVS25. Make sure your source video is connected through HDMI or SDI and that the input status light on the front is green. This means the NVS25 has accepted your video source. Next, if you have not already done so, open the Data Video IP Finder to obtain the IP address of the NVS25. Use this IP address to open the NVS25 web server in your browser. When you are connected, open another tab for Facebook. Log in and go to the page where you will want to stream your Facebook Live. On the dashboard of your page, click on the Publishing Tools and then select Videos on the left side of the screen. Next, select Live on the top right of your screen. Now you will see a window with server URL and stream key links. First, copy the server URL link and then go to the browser window for your NVS25. Click on Settings, then click on Live Stream Setup. Under Stream Server Selection, select RTMP Publish. Paste your server URL from Facebook Live into the RTMP URL field. Then go back to Facebook Live, copy the stream key, and paste it in the RTMP stream field on the NVS25 live stream setup. Click Apply when the buffer reaches 100%. The NVS25 has started sending a live video source to Facebook Live, but you will need to go to Facebook Live to start the broadcast. Go back to Facebook and click Next on the Create Live Video window. A preview for your stream will load. This will be useful in testing the strength of your connection and getting a preview of your stream. On the left side, you can compose a description, video title, and enter keywords for your stream. When you're ready to stream, click Go Live. From this window, you can continue to monitor your stream, answer comments, and make changes to the title and description of your stream to match current events. You can also close this page if you need more bandwidth for your stream. When you're ready to end your stream, you can either press the stream button once again on the Data Video NVS 25, or you can manually end it in the Facebook window. When your stream is complete, a public video will be automatically created and posted to your wall for your followers to view later. Here at Data Video, we enjoy helping you get the most out of your Data Video equipment. Thanks for watching.